In December of 1998, seven years after the final shocks of the Persian Gulf War, American pilots found themselves once again flying combat missions over Iraq. While the US's only supersonic heavy payload bomber had been sidelined throughout the Persian Gulf War, this new mission, dubbed Operation Desert Fox, would be the B-1B Lancer's combat debut. The Air Force has already announced its intention to retire the B-1B Lancer in favor of the forthcoming deep penetration bomber, the B-21 Raider, though it seems unlikely that the bone will be headed to the boneyard anytime soon. In April 2018, a single B-1B successfully launched 19 JASSM cruise missiles at targets in Syria. The JASSM's extended range and stealthy characteristics make it an important addition to the B-1B's arsenal, allowing it to fire its weapons from greater distances and in highly contested airspace. Perhaps even more importantly, the LRASM, or Long Range Anti-Ship Missile, also reached operational capacity on the bone in 2018. That kind of makes us the premier anti-ship platform, and who saw the B-1 doing that five years ago, Laney says. There's a lot of smart people well above my pay grade planning the future of the B-1. So, even though we have a retirement date on the books, they're not slowing down. Today, the B-1B Lancer fleet is plagued by issues pertaining to its ejection seat systems, but it seems likely that these problems will soon be resolved and the Lancer will get back to what it does best. for how long? It's hard to say but two presidents and a whole lot of anti-aircraft fire have already tried to put the bone to bed, and no one has managed to pull it off.